If not for this dice, you would not exist. Everyone and everything in the universe is a product of randomness. Now, this idea might seem strange, but you're probably already more used to it than you realize. We know it is the random swapping of genes in the two cells that make a baby, which has resulted in billions of completely unique individuals. But our story begins long before you were born, 14 billion years ago, when the universe was a very different place. You see, in our world, we're used to things behaving predictably. Apples fall off trees, balls roll down hills, and so on. But imagine you could shrink, like Alice through the looking glass. Shrink down a billion times until you enter the quantum world, where nothing is predictable and randomness rules. In the quantum world, everything fluctuates all the time. It's a bit like this audience. Some people are moving a lot, some not very much. You form a random pattern of motion which changes depending on where I look. Now, these quantum fluctuations are happening all the time, but we don't notice them because they are so tiny. But the early universe was full of them. Until something strange happened. The universe, space itself, expanded unbelievably fast in the blink of an eye. This inflation took these quantum fluctuations and stretched them out so they became macroscopic. Now, this thing only doubles in size, but inflation makes everything not 10 times, not 100, but this many times bigger. My point is, the quantum fluctuations stretched out by inflation form the seeds for everything, and I mean everything in the universe. These seeds are just little regions slightly more dense than those around them. They gravitationally attract matter to them, eventually becoming big enough to ignite stars and form planets. These stars attract other stars to make galaxies like the Milky Way. And these massive objects drift through space towards each other, forming the colossal filaments of an intricate cosmic web. Now, this theory of inflation turning quantum fluctuations into galaxies might sound like science fiction, but it is supported by everything we know about the universe. It's already amazing that a whole human being can come from two tiny cells and no one can predict what they'll be like. It's even more amazing that every human being and every planet, star, and galaxy in the universe comes from something billions of times smaller than a cell and just as random as the roll of the dice. Now, I wonder, what if the dice had rolled differently. What a delight. And I actually got goosebumps right at the end there. What a delightful story. What a brilliant way of communicating. Why did you choose something so ambitious as quantum fluctuations? Um, specifically because it's hard. Because, you know, I, I love science communication. I'm very passionate about it. But one thing that happens is scientists very rarely communicate things that they're working on because it's really hard. I'm not even sure how to communicate my topic because it's so technical. A lot of topics are very technical. So while it's great to talk about, you know, all kinds of uh, more simple topics and it's great for people to understand it, I think we should be ambitious. I think we should be trying to get the, the real science, the hard stuff, out to everybody because people can understand it. You just have to be creative about how you explain things. I like the way you, uh, you gave us a really, really big topic and a really, really big question. So a big topic and question for you. Uh, other universes, where are you on those? Sorry? Other universes. Other universes. Well, uh, it's a very interesting theories, a lot of very interesting theories. Um, unfortunately, you see, I'm a, I'm a data kind of person, so I tend to believe, well, to, to enjoy things that we have actual data for. So I love theories, I love that people are working on them, we don't have any evidence, and I'm not even sure how we would get any evidence for other universes. So it's great, it's interesting, but... Stick to the facts. Yeah. <laughs> okay, please quantum fluctuate your hands one more time for Michelle Knights. <laughs>